Let's take a closer look at the Micro Galaxy Squadron Resistance A-Wing. Villa Verikino, living the Star Wars life. Hello there, and thanks for visiting the Villa Verikino YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take a closer look at and unbox the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Resistance A-Wing. This is from the recent Series 5 wave from this range by Jazzwares and we're very excited because it is finally hitting store shelves here in New Zealand. I've unboxed a quite a few from this range already, I'll have them linked below if you want to see some of the other vehicles from the range. Very excited. This one is not a chase or anything terribly special, but anything new to add to my Micro Galaxy Squadron is always an exciting day. So I'm going to take a closer look at the packaging. Pretty standard here, we've got a lovely big nice clear bubble on the front showing us the vehicle inside. So there were a few of these on the store shelf so I could get a little bit of a look at the paintwork, see if there was any sort of weathering or splotches that would perhaps throw me off a little bit and I think this one looked pretty clean from what I could see from this angle here. We've got a little bit of an insert picture here showing us that we can put the minifigure in the cockpit which we can see included here is Resistance A-Wing Pilot there. We've got that purple marker on the side, this is Series 5. We have that fun silver foil stripe there across the front that says Resistance A-Wing. And this one is number 0102 there on the corner. Love that big window. And of course we have some fun Resistance era battle art there on the back. We can see some First Order TIE Fighters firing at the Millennium Falcon in there. I really do like the backing card art for the Micro Galaxy Squadron range. It always just sort of adds a little bit of something extra, especially if you do like to keep them boxed. Very nice there. And of course that big large Star Wars logo there on the front there. Turning it over to the back, we've got a lot of fun graphics to take a look at. So we have a little bit of a hologram image here of the Resistance A-Wing and we can see through some insert pictures of some of the moving features. We have the cockpit opens so that we can put the figure inside and it looks like we have a landing gear here as well. Over on this side we have the cut out and keep collectible blueprint if you open them up and want to discard of the packaging for you know space reasons or anything you can cut this out and start a little card collection of the vehicles from your collection which is fun it's even got the number there in the corner we can see that the resistance a-wing is part of the light armor class from this range there and taking a look at the banner down the bottom we can see some of the other vehicles from this range we can see mace windu's jedi interceptor the desert skiff and then over here we have the rarer chase vehicles where we have darth vader's sith and Interceptor and Kit Fisto's Jedi Starfighter. I have unboxed these two. If you like seeing the chase vehicles from this range, I will have those ones linked down below as well. I This one really surprised me. I like it more than I thought I was going to. It looks really, really cool. I'm really quite happy I was able to find that chase at a local store. And then of course the rest of the packaging, we've got a lot of a window there going on. We can see just how much air is here. I've got a little bit of copyright information there. Another nice bit of clear window. There we go, pretty standard big square bubble there on the front. So that is the backing card and the ship all packaged. But now it's time to get it out so we can take a closer look at the vehicle and check out those features. So now I have the vehicle and the figure out of the packaging, we can take a closer look. So I'm going to start off with the minifigure. We can see it is labeled Resistance A-Wing Pilot. These are really good ways to store the figures if you don't want to put them in the ship and it's just a nice way to remember what figure came with each vehicle. So let's get it out. We've got this fun little blueprint image here on the back showing us all of that incredible detail depicted on this figure. So let's get them out. Whoops. Okay, so tiny little figures, but they're so full of detail. I absolutely love it. So the camera will focus. We've got a lot of detail and a lot of different paint colors here. We've got all these different colors here on the A-Wing helmet. We've got sort of a red color, black, yellow, white, and skin tone here. We've got a green flight suit with white and black details all the way down to those tiny little boots there 
really cool there's just a little flick of paint on that boot but again this is pretty small you're gonna I don't know that my eyes would be good to paint something this small so we've got the standard articulation the arms come up and the legs so we can get to that classic cockpit pose there very nice so we'll test him in the cockpit very shortly but let's get that out of the way so we can take a closer look at the a-wing itself so there have been a couple of earlier a-wing starships in the micro galaxy squadron line and at first glance i am pretty sure that this is using the same mold i know that there are technical differences between the different sort of art periods particularly between because this is resistance and we largely see the other a-wings in the rebellion period Period, the original trilogy so they technically shouldn't be the same but I get I guess why a company would perhaps use the same molds because most people are not really going to be able to tell them apart and it doesn't bother me too much I know some people do really want very very accurate representations but it's a lot of work for some very minor differences so I'm just very happy to have this one in my collection so let's take a closer look at the details of this resistance a-wing it seems to be pretty much all made out of this cream beige plastic here with painted details so this one we have green with a lot of yellow added details we've got a half circle here a little circle here some detail around that cockpit we've got a nice clear cockpit canopy so that uh, starfighter pilot is going to be really visible in there looking forward to getting that one loaded in there and we've got some darker gray details down the side really nice there got some green and sort of a metallic dark silver here on the engines of the back we've got some fun striping on the fin edge down here again on the other side just in the back we've got a little bit of a again that dark metallic uh, gunmetal there on the engine in the back that's really nice some more stripes more painted details we've even got that's a brighter silver here um, in those little bits it's really nice I always love the fine detail of this range all of the little engines all of the little surface lines and of course going on to the underside it's still got a lot of detail so we can see that nice big green here and the yellow painted details we can see that copyright information there stamped on the underside because of course this is a licensed Lucasfilm item there we can see that there Jazzwares, Lucasfilm, Made in China all of that fun stuff so we've got a landing gear here that I'm going to test shortly in a moment and it's it's actually really just nice to see just all of those tiny little sculpting lines I'm not even sure how much of this fine detail shows up on camera we can see all these tiny little grooves in here it's just really really nice so cool now I'm going to check out the components that move so some of the uh, starships in the micro galaxy squadron line have all kinds of bells and whistles lots of things that move this is a little bit more of a simple ship so we've only got two components to test out so I'm going to start with that landing gear so sometimes these are really stiff and hard to pull out I'm hoping this one's not going to give me too much trouble so let's go let's see if we can get this one in and up it's a little bit stiff nearly got it all the way out might have to see if I can get this one it kind of wants to come halfway out let's see if I can get that uh, there we go okay bit stiff on that first pull but there we go so now we've got the landing gear it's all pretty much all green and we've even got tiny little sort of greeblies sculpted on the inside it's not really going to show up it's a bit dark in there but yeah there's kind of like engine greeblies uh, sculpted in the plastic under there so now we can put it into sort of a landed mode which looks pretty good because generally speaking most of the micro galaxy squadron ships don't come with flight stands they will mostly sit on your display shelf like this so the other moving component is going to be this fabulous clear cockpit so uh, if it's anything like the other one I just kind of pinch it a little bit and we can just pull that up nice then we can see the inside we've got all of that sort of tiny sculpted detail we've got a little chair in here we can see that the cockpit is made out of clear plastic with the green detail lines painted on we can kind of see that in there so 
Now let's get our tiny little resistance pilot in his cockpit. So hopefully he's going to sit in here well. It looks like a little bit more of a tighter fit. I'm going to have to get his legs into place, I think. Some of them, they just slide on in. I kind of got to hook his feet in. It's a little bit of a tight. You might just be able to make out that his boots actually go kind of into the cockpit gap there. And now I've got him sitting in there. So it's a little bit more of a tighter fit than some of the other ones did. But once I scooped his feet under that console, he fits in there very nicely. And because of that bright colored helmet, he's going to be very visible in there. So we can see that yellow and red of his helmet. We can clearly see his chest box again, his green flight suit. That looks really cool. Just that finishing touch, isn't it? Really nice. So there we go. I've just been noticing just one or two tiny paint flaws, and this is just really, really minor. We've got a little bit of a flick here in the green. We've got a little bit of a gray spot here. We can see on the other engine there isn't anything there, so that's just really, really minor. And perhaps just a little bit of a, I sort of call it like a little bit of a haze around the edge here but I haven't got the underside of another resistance A-wing to find out if this is pretty standard or if this is just on mine. It just doesn't have quite the crisp edge like we have up here. We've got a really crisp edge to the paint and then it kind of gets a little bit softer here but honestly this is the underside of the ship. Once it's on display I'm not really going to see that. So overall pretty pretty clean and tidy this one doesn't have a wash on it like some of the other starships in this line so it doesn't look muddy there wasn't too much variance in between this and other examples on the store shelf so didn't quite see that small mark um, but that's not too bad I know a lot of the starships in Star Wars have battle damage all sorts of scuffs and marks you know you can just pass it off as just you know they hit some space debris or took a little blaster hit there. Overall, a fairly simple ship. It's cute and compact, but a very nice addition to my Micro Galaxy Squadron collection nonetheless. So let's bring in the other one that I have on hand, which is Hera's A-Wing. So of course, this is in a different time period. Time period, sorry. Hera is from more of the original trilogy Rebellion era. Um, and I know she goes all the way through to Ahsoka live action show, but the resistance is set, you know, sometime later. And technically they are supposed to be different, uh, you know, subtly different, even though they are A-wings. It's like the, uh, like Poe's X-wing is different than Luke's X-wing and things like that. So let's just hold them up and see what the details look like in person. I know the paint jobs will give them a little bit of a different appearance. But all of those sculpting lines, and particularly with like the sort of blasters down the side, it's all, all pretty much identical. If I line those ones up, we can kind of see all of that same detail there. The engines do look quite different um, with the insides of this one sort of painted, and this one, it's, it's, it's red and that cream plastic. So they do end up even though it's the same plastic it does look quite different which is really quite fun so there we go getting a little bit of an a-wing squadron here for display with my two i think these are really quite cute again it looks a lot smaller unfortunately when you get it out of the box there was a lot of air in that bubble around the a-wing but it's you know it's original trilogy vehicle you're going to want it for your collection so i'm glad we've got a couple of different designs here there are a lot of sort of repeats within the Micro Galaxy Squadron line. We've seen TIE Fighters, we've seen a lot of X-Wings, so it's fun to see more. Now I just need more B-Wings. I absolutely love the new B-Wing. I want more of that one. You know, I can take, you know, subtle, subtle paint schemes, give me like a slightly more battle damaged one. I definitely need more of that one in my collection because now I've got two A-Wings, so very happy there. I like the contrasting colors. They look so different. Definitely worth getting both for my collection. So there you have it. That was my unboxing and review of Jazzwares Micro Galaxy Squadron Resistance A-Wing from the Light Armor class. There we go. 
Thank you so much for watching my unboxing. As I said earlier, I'll have some of my other Micro Galaxy Squadron unboxings linked down below, especially some of those recent exciting designs from Series 5. I'm really loving this line. I'm trying to chase down as many vehicles to add to my collection as I can. They're just so cool. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video. And as always, may the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, check out our other videos, and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.